this is 67 Neil and I haven't done a video blog in a while that I've put on YouTube. <laughs> so I usually just says, oh my god, this is so stupid. So I usually delete it. But um this is my ever pondering thing, you know, I'll call this uh trying to make sense of it all. Um I read an article, it's like, you know, it's like all the hybrid vehicles they're creating right now that, um, you know, like the bat, the gas crisis, etc. It's like, they're depleting, like, you know, really rare minerals, and so it's like they're unable now to uh, keep up with the demand. And it's like, you know, I just have a really simple solution to everything. It's like, you know, I'm, I'm in need of gas. I mean, I can probably go another 10, 20 more miles. I got about roughly 86 miles in this tank. Um, but it's like, you know, take the appropriate vehicle. I mean, it's like we're so car orientated here in the United States that it's like, you know, you just see a lot of single people in a big car. And it's like, I'm just going down the street, or if I'm just, you know, traveling, you know, five miles to work, whatever, but it's like, oh, shit, I need to get gas, and it's like I just turned, oh, let's go back on. Um, yeah, just drive the appropriate vehicle. If you just need to go down to the store, like, a, like two or three blocks away, walk. There's nothing wrong with that. Walking does everybody a little bit of good. Or ride a bicycle, you know, it's just try to keep it to the appropriate vehicle to where you want to, what do you want to do? Like my work is like nine miles away from home one way. So, um, instead of taking a car, I take the scooter because it's like, why not? The weather is good. By all means, I mean, I spend roughly about 90 miles a week on a tank of gas and it's like it just makes sense so I need to go anywhere a, you know considerable distance or on the highway I take my car because that's the appropriate vehicle for that travel but you know for just putzing around town and you know picking up a few things at the store either you know walk two blocks or a mile or you know, take something that's going to get you to, to what you need to do. I don't want to get gas there. I want to get the flying Pegasus gas. You know, I think that would, you know, save a lot of the gas situation here in the United States. It's like if people would just take in a appropriate vehicle when it suits the needs of what you need to do. I ride even in the winter time. I mean, up until February, when all the, the snow mounds on the side of the road start melting, and you know, they, at night it turns into black ice. So it's like then, so around you know, late January, early February, until about mid March, I don't ride much. But I mean, it's, if it's like above freezing, I have no problem with it. I mean, if it's like 32 degrees, no sweat. I upset that lady in the truck. She thought she was going to get it, but I'm on a mission for saving gas for the world.
that's it for getting gas. There's the magical tunnel. Still gotta go through that thing in uh, in, in at night.